Hello everybody. Uh, today is the third lecture of the solid state physics series. So in this lecture, we will know about the types of lattices and the crystal system in 2D. So I have made a table here because it will be helpful that so when I am explaining this, so you can also make the table in your notebook so that when you will prepare for the exam, it will help you. This is a square and the Bravais lattice will also be square. Lattice means without basis, the arrangement, this is the lattice. So as the crystal system is square, the obviously the lattice will be square. And the condition, condition will be, condition means square means its sides will be equal. So if the sides are A and B, then A is equal to B. It will be, we used to write it in small letter. Okay. And the angle between A and B, gamma is equal to the 90 degree. Okay, next, next is the rectangular crystal system. So it's, so it's a rectangular. So in rectangular crystal system, there can be two types of graphite lattice. First one is rectangular primitive and Second one is rectangular centered. Rectangular primitive, what will be the difference from the square one? Obviously, you know, as in rectangle, the sides are not equal as square. So here, A and B are not equal. The gamma is obviously the same. Gamma is equal to 90 degrees. Yeah. So next, what will be the difference here in rectangular primitive? Just see the figure. There are four points at the corner of the rectangle or at the vertices of the rectangle. But in rectangular centered, there are four points at the vertices and also there is a center point at the center of the rectangle. Condition is same, same for both. Okay. So next is hexagonal. A is equal to B and gamma is not 90 degree. Here gamma is 120 degree. Just check the figure. Next is oblique. Oblique means it can be of any type. When there is nothing related to other three types, we will call it as oblique. A and B are not equal, obviously, and gamma is not equal to 90 degree. So in the crystal system, you can understand that in square, there will be four uh, motif or four bases, means there can be four atoms or atom, one atom or group of atom is this corner, another this corner, this corner and this corner. So there can be four bases. And in rectangular also, there will be uh, rectangular primitive, there will be four bases like this 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 corner and this corner here in rectangular center there will be five bases like one two three four and five okay then how much it is sharing that is different thing so the motif will be like that we can call the basis as motif also m-o-t-i-f motif or basis so uh, in hexagonal, hexagonal we know the hexagon is uh, like six. There will be six sides, but the hexagonal basis is like that. Like um, this is a axis and this is b axis. So we will take this angle. This is the 
comma angle this is 120 degree and uh, this is the oblique this is like gamma is not 90 degree uh, a and b are not equal and gamma is not 90 degree so it can be anything like it can be 120 degree also but as a is not equal to b so it will not be hexagonal so oblique is completely different which is not hexagonal not rectangular not square so what is not in the other three category this will be oblique so these are all about uh, types of lattices and crystal systems in 2d next we will talk about the uh, crystal system in 3d so in 3d there are uh, seven types of crystal system and 14 bravais lattices in cubic crystal system the bravais lattices can be of three types you know already uh, first is simple cubic second is body centered cubic or we can call it as bcc next is face centered cubic or FCC. So these are three types, and the condition is A is equal to B is equal to C, and here will be alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree. Simple cubic, the effective number of lattice points will be one how uh, there are eight corners four in the above and four below so each lattice point is sharing with eight cubes surrounding so in one cube it is sharing one eighth of it so one eighth into total eight points so it will be one effective number of lattice point is one similarly in bcc so i can write it one in bcc how much it will be the previous we have for simple cubic one and in uh, body center there is one point which is at the center of the cubic body so it is sharing with only this cube it is not sharing with any other cube so completely it will be in the cube so previously we have one for the corner basis and we have one body center so there will be one plus one is equals to two next is uh, fcc so how it will be as we have been known for simple cubic it is one so all corner points are giving one effective number of lattice point now there are face centered lattice points so the point which is at the face of any um, surface like uh, the side plane or the above for any so it is sharing the point is sharing with two cubes of each side so one point is sharing with two it means half of one each sharing or half of one is contributing to one cube and there are six faces of a cube so there are six lattice points on the faces of a cube so it means half into six so previously i have one now half into six means three so total effective number of lattice point will be four so in tetragonal system the bravais lattice will be okay so first uh, the cubic lattice is very important so uh, for like you can remember the whole thing and it is very much symmetric so it is very much easy to remember so others are not that much important but hexagonal is important so uh, remember that also so main thing is cubic and hexagonal others you just remember the uh, sides how it's equal or not equal and the angle that's enough so for tetragonal why i am saying tetragonal because in cubic system there is a is equal to b is equal to c 
and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree so here there is just one difference here alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is 90 degree but one thing that a is equal to b but which is not equal to c a and a is equal to b but not equal to c okay and alpha is equal to beta equal to gamma so there are uh, two types of bravais lattice in tetragonal so first one is simple tetragonal and second one is body centered just like the um, cubic so next crystal system is orthorhombic and for this the condition will be a not equal to b and not equal to c and obviously alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma you write in your notebook properly okay so and here the bravais lattice there are many types of bravais lattice just so uh, there are uh, four types of bravais lattice first is simple orthogonal next is body centered next is face centered next is another which is base centered base centered means as face centered there are a lattice point in uh, on each face in base center there are the lattice points on the just the uh, lower face and the upper face so in hexagonal uh, the condition is alpha uh, sorry a is equals to b but not equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 degree but gamma is equal to 120 degree okay okay our next is next crystal system is trigonal trigonal uh, the condition will be a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta but not equal to gamma Travis lattices will be only simple trigonal just one type nothing else our next system is crystal system is monoclinic and condition is a uh, not equal to b not equal to c means alpha is equals to gamma is equals to 90 degree but not equal to just gamma and beta is replacing in the trigonal and the in monoclinic there will be two types of bravais lattice first is simple monoclinic and then it is base centered now i have just one left which is triclinic uh, before previously i have done trigonal and monoclinic now it's triclinic this is the least symmetric crystal system nothing is symmetric here so triclinic there will be just simple triclinic nothing more because uh, there is no symmetry so we cannot categorize it and the condition is a b c these are not equal and also alpha beta gamma these are also not equal to each other like these are also not equal okay so these are the all types so now tell me one thing that uh, as i am teaching with the in microsoft word writing all the thing is it 
better or if i uh, teach with the ppt will it be better which one you prefer just let me know this in the comment section you can write it so our today's uh, summary is the types of lattice and crystal system in 2d and uh, in 3d also so in 2d there are four crystal system and five provides lattices uh, five why because there are two in rectangular rectangular primitive and rectangular centered in rectangular centered one extra point is in the uh, center of the rectangle and in 3d there are seven type cubic then tetragonal i am going from more symmet most symmetric to least symmetric so there will be cubic then tetragonal then orthorhombic then hexagonal then trigonal monoclinic and triclinic try to write it in your notebook as it is in the uh, order and so cubic is the most symmetric among the abc are equal with each other and alpha beta gamma is also equal with each other and equal to 90 degree also so this is today's topic try to remember this all i will try to explain this in details in next classes and um, i'm thinking in next class i will teach the relation between number density and mass density and uh, the planes in crystal that is the miller indices so next class it will be uh, miller indices okay thank you